It's time for some more SPL transfer talk. Nothing really, Rangers, apart from a rebo. It's just inching closer with each passing day. Not really been much to talk about um, the last couple of days, apart from the, the tyranny bed, and that was like three fucking four days ago, you know what I mean? And the F1 games out, I've been busy playing that, working, etc., etc. But, I mean, there is two eight million, two eight million deals here that look like one is mental and the other one's just what you would kind of expect, but we'll kick off with the one you'd kind of expect, and that is Celtic or Poise to Land, French defender Julian uh, from Toulouse for eight million. Um, that says to me that they're uh, no, obviously I think that's Julian guy's a centre back. I believe he is. I think he's seventy six rated in FIFA, not uh, rare. I believe if my memory uh, serves correct, but. Maybe that is uh, they're spending eight million on this guy because they know they're going to sell Tierney. I don't know though; we don't really know for sure. But eight million, definitely not a jobber amount for an SPL club. But for Celtic, you they're like the only team you'd expect to really splash eight million. And second would be Rangers, but I don't think we'll be splashing eight million this uh, window. But you go. Um, Turnbull looks like. Um, is going to happen, but there was a issue with his medical today. But the, I think for the like the, the fucking highlight, the headline thing, come, the new Kilmarnock boss Angeli Alceso wants to bring in an eight million rated striker on a season long loan from Antonio Conte's Inter side. Right now, Fukando Kalidio, I've never heard of this guy. Right, but the fact he's worth eight million, usually fees for like a Kilmarnock would be like come like getting transferred f- like from Kilmarnock, not brought into Kilmarnock, you know what I mean? Even if it would be on a season-long loan, like, that's fucking mental, like, them bringing in someone on a season-long loan that's, like, valued at 8 million. But I guess if he is, um, if the manager is close to Antonio Conte, why wouldn't Conte give him some job or player, even, like, or you just, you just don't even need to pay any of the wages, big man, 10%, 5% will do, you know what I mean? But And that would be it. And also, the Charlton manager's just being a fucking nonce. He's saying, oh, he, he's, it doesn't make sense in the football. And it's only saying it because if Aribo goes to an English club, he, he, Charlton would make money off it. You know what I mean? That's the only reason he's saying that. He can go fuck himself. Gerard also says Kent will only return to Ibrox on loan if the winger wants the deal. And I think Kent would want the deal, but we don't know what's going to happen. There's a lot of time left in the window, but hopefully we can wrap Aribo and get Kent back relatively soon. Hearts look like they could be potentially signing Connor Washington, some jobber that plays for the big NI, um, out of contract to Sheffield United, and that is literally it. Not much. O'Donnell. Um, Kenny Miller has joined Partick, I believe, on a free after leaving Dundee, so big Ken dog still going at it, and he's like 40, so fair play to him. But anyway, that'll do it. Not really much else to talk about, but until next time. Peace.